Today, we're going to look at seven useful websites for Sharewell administrators that are going to help make your life easier. They're stuff I use on a regular basis. I'm Scott Valor, Senior Solutions Architect and Consultant with Excalibur Data Systems. And let's take a look at some of these sites. The first site we're going to look at is the Sharewell help site. It's the documentation for the core CSM and Sharewell Asset Management product. This site has the ability to search and has silos around the different products, as well as the release notes that are available for the different product lines. It's a great way to come in and see what's going on, what's changed in a product, as well as special notes around upgrades and changes that have occurred within a product between versions that you really need to be careful of. So like when we went to version 10, they changed the way that you authenticate into the CSM product. There's a different uh, URL for the API authentication. That was documented here in the important upgrade notes. The product documentation here is pretty deep and has some really great examples. Another really cool feature of this version of the website's recently been redone is that you can come in and save out this documentation to a PDF. It's going to go ahead and generate the PDF and make it available for you to download. And it's going to go through and give you that website documentation so you've got it in a portable and reproducible version. It's one of my favorite features of the new help website. Number two is the Sharewell Community website. This is home to the discussion forums as well as spaces for the different Sharewell user groups to meet and share content and the events calendar for things like the Sharewell user group meetings and the collaboration series and some of the other events that are going on that are available to the community. There's full discussions here. There are a bunch of groups on here that are based on region as well as theme. So there's a builders network, there's stuff around education. There are user groups that are regional like Arizona, Carolinas, Brisbane, uh, all across the world, there are user groups that are going to fit either your region, your group, or your particular interest. It's a great resource to visit. Number three is the Sharewell Marketplace. This is the home for MAPs. You're going to find a variety of MAPs from everything from little tiny micro MAPs that are going to extend one piece of your system to full on workflows that are going to take your system and give you things like facilities and HR service management and security and integrations with Microsoft Teams and Slack and you name it. Tons of MAPs here. A bunch of these are produced by Sharewell and partners such as Excalibur Data Systems as well as provided by customers. So there's going to be some MAPs in here that customers generated. They're putting them out there for free to share with the rest of the community and help increase the, the productivity and usefulness of your system. You can search these. Let's pull up some of ours. Excalibur has a bunch of MAPs that are out here. When you go to look at one of these, it's going to give you a variety of things. You're going to be able to download it if it's available directly from the exchange, or it might be a link out to a partner website to get it. Uh, we've got a kind of a general overview of what's here, along with uh, some images or links out to YouTube videos. Uh, who puts it together? How do you get a hold of them to get some help? As well as what are the basic platform and system requirements for it? Some basic details. It's a great way to find ways to extend your system. Number four is the ideation station. If you have ideas to, for extending Sharewell, things that you think would make the product better for yourself, better for the rest of the customer base, this is a great place to come, submit your ideas, as well as peruse through the ideas that are out there and vote for them if you think that they're useful, as well as give feedback as to how it might be improved. Or maybe somebody asked for something that the product already does that they're unaware of. You could give them a tip. You could share that with them. Or you could share your business case for why this particular ask is really valuable and help the developers understand what we need as a community and how they can continue to improve the product. A 
good number of improvements within ShareWell come from the ideation station here. So please check it out. Regularly look for ideas and vote up stuff that's useful as well as provide your feedback. It'll significantly improve the quality and the usefulness of the product. Let's change gears. Let's go from platform resources to graphical resources. Site number five is Pixabay. This is a great resource for royalty-free products that you can use anywhere, including for business uses, without having to pay royalties, and in most cases, without having to provide any attribution or anything. They've got photos, illustrations, vectors, videos, music, you name it, look for something. And you can go ahead and download it and go ahead and use it. So in this case, I've got a variety of different sizes. I could download this as SVG, pop it into Illustrator, Photoshop, kind of manipulate it, whatever I need. Go ahead and use that in the product. Number six is Canva. It's a great color resource. So when you have a background image, a logo, something that you need to generate colors that are complementary for or come up just in general with a good color palette to start with when you're designing a business object or a form or a dashboard or something, this is a great resource. The first option that we have here is the ability to generate a color palette from a photo. So I've got a geometric photo that I wanted to use for a dashboard and I wanted to get some complementary colors out of it. So this is going to pull out some of the colors for me. I can just copy them off to the clipboard and throw them off into ShareWell as I'm going along, or I can write them down, take a screenshot, whatever suits your fancy. The next is color palette ideas. So there's a bunch of different palettes here that you can look at. You can pop into one and it gives you an idea of what those color palettes are, kind of how it goes together. I could have also searched. So I could have said, uh, I'm looking for something that is, uh, I don't know, let's say fall. And I'm going to get palettes that have keywords, phrases, things like that, that are tied to that. The next is just straight up. I've got a color wheel. I want to go in and set up some colors. I want to drive it around. And I want to hand design my color palette. So I'm doing a complementary. I could have turned around and said I want to do monochromatic. Where am I? On this scale, I'm going to get colors. How many colors do I want? Do I want to move over and do triadic? So you can do a variety of different patterns here within your color spectrum and say, OK, I'm looking for, ah, oh, yeah, right there. I really like that. So there we go. And I've got my color palette. Number seven, flat icons. Many times I'm looking for specific icons that I want to generate with a transparent background as a PNG, so I can drop those in to generate uh, on a form or a menu or on a dashboard. And this is a great way to go if you don't have some of the other tools that are going to generate them for you. You can pop, you can search for something specific, or if you're just kind of looking, you can pop over here. We'll just grab one as an example. They have a great selection of free icons. So I've selected the house. I got all kinds of things I can do here around the background. I can change it. I can set a specific color. Or I can keep it transparent. If I keep it transparent, when I bring that PNG in, anything that's behind it will just show through. It's a really great thing for a dashboard. I can adjust the size so I can say, hey, you know, I want a, uh, a 32 pixel image. I'm good to go. I can set the color. Usually what I'll do is I'll go ahead and leave a bag while I'm setting up everything. I can flip it, play around with it, get it however I like. I can rotate it. And one of the cool things is I can put shapes behind it. So I may say that I want to put this one on a speech bubble. And I can play with the size of the speech bubble with relative to the size of the image. 
I can change the color of the speech bubble, and I can change the style. It's one of my favorite tools, really useful. And then when you're done here, you can just go ahead and download the image. And I get a choice. What do I want to download it as? A PNG so that it has transparent backgrounds. It's got everything I want. Do I want to bring it as a JPEG? For ShareWell, I would do it as a PNG and I would be good to go. And I can just download it and just use it directly in ShareWell. Those are seven really useful websites that I use on a regular basis as I'm building out and maintaining ShareWell systems for our clients. I hope those are useful websites for you. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.